Hello, I'm Rob with ScrappyDoo.com, and I hope you're ready for another great tutorial. So all right, in this tutorial we're going to show you how to do this in Inkscape. It's called Pattern Along a Path, and we planned on using uh, this to create create this little pattern here and use it in the Shortcuts Lot software. At the end of this video I'm going to show you a couple other uh, cool little patterns that you can create with this uh, using the same process. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, the, the first thing uh, I'm going to do is I'm going to scoot this off to the side, and I'm going to create a circle because that's what this, this piece is right here is, is a circle. I'm trying to create that inside circle. So uh, just select the circle tool right here. I'm going to click and drag. I'm going to hold the control button down to constrain that to make it a perfect circle. Now I'm just going to release. All right, now the outside uh, that you see, these outside loops, all that is is the text of O. So you can go ahead and uh, click the text tool. Then you can just click anywhere on the, on the Inkscape mat here. And we're just going to go ahead and type a capital O. And once you have that typed out, you know, it doesn't matter what size of the font because you can always grow and shrink these. So I'm just going to go ahead and just grow it a little to a size that I, I like. All right, um, the next thing is I'm going to select both of these. I'm going to go to Path, Object to Path. All right, for now for this next part to work right, you want to make sure that this O, you know, the, the thing that you're wanting to go around the, uh, the inner circle here is on top. So as you can see, uh, this, this black is on top of the green, which is what we want. Now if you do not have it like that, and I can show you what it would look like by going to Object, and I'm just going to lower this to the bottom. You don't, you don't have to do this in order to follow the tutorial, but I just wanted to demonstrate that you'll get different results if you don't have this set up correctly. So as you can see, that, that black O is behind the green circle. So we do not want that. So if, if that happens to be on your project, all you have to do is select that O, go to Object, and then just raise it to the top. And you can go ahead and double check, make sure that O is on top of the top of that circle. So all right. So now that we uh, we agree that that O is on top of that circle, we can go ahead and select both of those. We can go down to Effect, Generate from Path, Pattern along a path. All right. Uh, here's some things that you'll you'll want to have set up when this when this path box comes up. You want uh, repeat and stretch. Uh, deformation type is snake, and I just had these all set for zero. And go ahead and click uh, live preview so you can see what it looks like. So all right, that looks good. I'm gonna go ahead and hit apply. I'm gonna exit out of this box here, and then I'm just gonna select this right here. I'm gonna go to path, then union. There you go. That created that nice little, uh, nice little simple pattern. Now over here uh, is some other cool things that you can do. Uh, this one was done with pattern along a path, you know, circle and a little circle, sort of looks like a little flower. Um, this was created with with a box uh, with rounded corners and uh, and a star pattern. And of course, you saw what we did with the O and the circle. So with that, I'm Rob with ScrapDo.com.